Yo, what is going on guys? We're back with another SnowRunner mod review and today we're checking out the Saki Lane Crusher. Now this is a console friendly Toyota Land Cruiser. Basically, there's an add-on pack that will give you the realistic badges and emblems. Otherwise, it's a Saki Lane Crusher M7. Uh, but the same mod with the add-on pack, you can turn into a PC friendly mod and add on the badges that you desire like this. But you know what to do guys. Let's check this out. Drop a like on the video, drop a sub on the channel. Let's jump into it. All right, time to build and customize the Saki Lane Crusher M7. Engine, we got default SLC engine, powerful SLC engine, and even more powerful SLC engine. I'm gonna go with this one. It says using a more powerful engine will cost fuel efficiency for both of them, so hopefully it's not OP. We got default SLC gearbox, highway gearbox, and off-road. Let's go with the off-road. Suspension, we got stock, raised, and tuned custom. I like the tuned custom because I think it's gonna be better equipped for durability now for tires we got 33 inch Saki tires AT tires 35 AS1 AS2 AS3 37 Saki AT tires 39 AS1 2 and 3 and then off-road we got 33 dragons off-road wheels and we got 35 OS1 and then 37 dragons off-road wheels and it comes with a custom tire obviously and then we've got 39 OS1 and then for mud tires we got 33 Max's mud wheels 35 MS1 and 37 Max's mud wheels and then we also have 39 MS1 and then for chain we got 33 Saki chained wheels 35 CS1 37 Saki chained wheels and 39 CS1 I'm gonna go with the 37 Max's mud wheels just because these are custom and they're beefy and they just they look good so winch we got default slc winch extended winch extended empowered winch independent winch and powered winch we're gonna go with extended empowered diff lock we got engageable spare wheel we're gonna throw on spare wheel one snorkel we got the regular snorkel or the pipe snorkel i like the pipe better so that's what we're gonna go with frame add-ons we got cab supplies and a roof rack rear bumper we got rear bumper one rear bumper two and rear bumper three i'm gonna go with rear bumper two Badges, we got the grill badge, hood badge, Toyota back door badge, and Land Cruiser side badges. Front bumper, we got front bumper one, front bumper two, front bumper three, front bumper four, and no front bumper. Now, three looks good, two looks good. I mean, they all look good, don't get me wrong. The three seems like pretty beefy. The two seems a little bit better balanced, but either way, it looks good. I think what we're gonna go with is front bumper number two for right now anyways we got grill one and grill two so we're gonna go with grill two stickers we got the Saki backdoor sticker where's this go well you can't see it because of the choices that we've got we got the SLC side sticker and we've got the side sticker back we're gonna go with that one other we got antenna external cage internal cage and fenders rims we got SLC rims one two and three I like the th three the best these are nice colors we got black we got this tan color we got red we got navy blue we got gray we got normal blue we got i don't even know what to call this color and then we've got a greenish gray sand color we got a burgundy color another gray and another light blue i'm gonna go with the burgundy color guys all right let's pull it out see what it could do all right let's start it up Okay, so the gauges work so far. There's some decent detail in here. This is actually really well detailed, and this looks nice. This is really, really, really nice. Now, I did realize with the external cage, we lost the back bumper we originally wanted. I don't know if that was intentional or not. If you're watching this mod developer, comment below and let me know if there's a way to get that back bumper on there with the external cage. Regardless, we got the tow hitch, we got the spare wheel, and uh, yeah, the engine sounds incredible. This engine transmission setup so far seems really really nice this is smooth the gauges work we're just in two-wheel drive right now this looks like a classic land cruiser there's some good realism here and it's really nice to see there's been a lot of hype about the land cruisers lately and you know when you look at some of these mods especially like this one there's a ton of realism brought in snow runner by these mods engine sounds are really tame suspension play and movement seems 
quite realistic. Let's uh, let's keep it in automatic. Let's keep in two-wheel drive and just see where we get. The tires don't seem too big for this setup at all, which is nice. They they felt the the wheel well is quite nice. Um, it looks proportionate. It looks it looks proper. Now going through the mud here, we're not even struggling a bit. Not even the slightest tick up. And as soon as I say that, there we go, digging like crazy. All right, this is gonna be a good picture though because we got this truck. We got this truck nice and muddy, I think. So this looks really, really good. Um, there we go. Let's see, let's put it in a low and see if we can get out of this with the one in four wheel drive. So if we just barely feather the gas, we made a little bit of progress. Let's pop it in four wheel drive and we'll keep it in a low. And you can see here, we're pushing through this. Let's put it in a low plus. We're pushing through this at an acceptable speed. Now low plus, we start to dig a little bit. Well, we're doing good. Let's turn on the diff lock. Now, th all right, so this is what I wanted to see here, and I'm gonna explain this. There's a lot of mods that the diff lock doesn't seem like it helps that much in comparison. But this mod, for example, you just saw the cycle we went through trying to get out of that. Without the diff lock, we actually kind of struggled a little bit. Um, as soon as we put the diff lock on, there was a very, very noticeable and instant difference, and that's how it should be. I know it's hard to perfect, probably, in the mod development side, but this powertrain for this is really really balanced and it's really awesome to see because really it's mods like these that bring realism without becoming op or you know the game wouldn't be fun if there wasn't any struggle it's probably the best way to put it and it's mods like this that bring that really smooth balance uh between them so now we'll put the diff lock back on and put it in a little plus once we get over these rocks i think we'll be a little bit better shape here we're, we're digging here in low plus, but nothing substantial. We're kind of plowing through it. We go into low, we do the same thing. We're just not spraying the truck down the mud. Put it in a low plus, try to make our own path here, and we do fine, no problem. Put it back in automatic. Now the suspension play and movement seems stiff enough for what we're doing. It's durable. We haven't taken any damage yet. The scale of this model seems really, really well balanced as well, and that's also incredible to see. Here we go. steering's not too responsive, it's not under responsive, it's incredibly balanced here. It doesn't seem too top heavy for its height. Some of these bumps throw us a little bit off track. That's kind of where we end up bobtailing a bit. Now, if we're in all-wheel drive, it'd be a little bit different too because that changes the drive dynamic quite a bit. But let's hit the water here and see how we do. Did we lose our snorkel? We might have, yeah.
tell though the weight does shift you around quite a bit I don't want to say too easy but it is a little bit challenging to try to constantly correct it's probably the best way to put that but we're just in two wheel drive still trekking through this which actually you can tell we're, we're chewing in pretty good so let's see if we can cross here to do drop a like on the video drop a sub on the channel if you want to check this out the mod download link is in the description guys and we'll catch you with the next one